Well, look at that sight. It's almost as if some master painted that picture. And now quiet in the Rose Bowl, but not for long. University of Washington team out of its dressing room in the tunnel. And what a thrill it must be, Merlin Olsen, for the players themselves to see for the first time the bowl filled. The only time they've seen this prior to today was 100,000 plus empty seats. Dick, I've got to tell you that they've, they've looked forward to being here. These last few minutes before they come out on the field had to be the longest minutes of some of their lives. Those seconds just crawling by. All kinds of black and gold throughout this stand. I, I think half the state of Iowa is empty today. <laughs> Either that or locked up in front of television sets. Hayden Fry has been sick. You might notice him looking a little bit poorly. He's been right down in bed for a couple of days. Here they come. of the Pacific Ten, Big Ten's representative, the Iowa Hawkeyes, and we'll have the flip of the coin and the kickoff in just a moment. Great club, Nebraska in the opener, then fell to Iowa State, beat the sixth-ranked UCLA team at that time, 20-7, to and then went on, had a little slump at midseason, losing to Minnesota and Illinois, finished with three consecutive wins over Purdue, Wisconsin, and Michigan State to get the co-championship. This was supposed to be a down year for the Huskies. In fact, they redshirted most of their junior class, a good many of them. But look what they did during the season. A much faster start than expected. Upset against Arizona State, 26-7. The low point, however, came in that loss UCLA inflicted to them in the Coliseum, 31 to nothing. I'm sure they were all on the ground then. But they came roaring back with two big wins, and they're here today. Don James and Hayden Fry. Deep to return, Aaron Williams and Anthony Allen for the Huskies, and Reggie Roby, the consensus All-American putter. Great leg will kick it off. Eight yards deep, and Ooh. Allen will sit on it for Steve Pallor at quarterback. He's matured tremendously. Vince Kobe, veteran fullback and the tailback and leading rusher for the Huskies, Ron Jackson, had over 600 yards on the ground. Wide receiving core is excellent. Anthony Allen, Paul Scancy, already number two in Washington history in receptions, and the tight end, a converted fullback, Willie Roseboro. Tough defense. Iowa led the Big Ten in almost every defensive category, and they show why. Against the run, the line, Cody, Paul Cody at center. The guards are 57, James Carter, and 62, Andy Breslin. At tackle, and they are giants. Eric Moran is 291, and Don Dow, 277. They're going to have their hands full with a very big and active front wall for Iowa. Second down, eight. On an option, Pallor gets only a yard. Third down and seven. Pallor in a passing situation. And he's going to throw. Open over the middle of Scancy. And he has a first down at the 33-yard line. As we identified the play before, there's the defensive alignment. Tippett, Borch, Dean, Takar, and Webb. Three of those, of uh, course, uh, all Big Ten players. No Cole also all Big Ten, one of the linebackers. And Luke King at the corner is all Big Ten. First down play. Pallor, plenty of time, has a man. Complete to Allen. First down at the 45. If you look at the rest of the defense for the Hawkeyes, and we mentioned that it's uh, Tracy Crocker who is on the ground over there. With just some mild assistance, let's hope the junior from Youngstown, Ohio, will be able to get back into the game. First down, Washington at the Husky 45. Jackson with his first carry. He's got speed, and he picks up about six yards to the Iowa 49. Second down, a short five. Both receivers to the left. Pallor goes left and finds Allen for a first down at the Iowa 40. I'm amazed at how many passes uh, Washington is throwing right off the bat here in this ballgame. First down from the 40. Play action fake, and, and he does give it off. And it's second and nine. This is the eighth play of the opening drive of the game. Going long. He's open. Allen had a couple of steps. So instead of a touchdown, it's third and nine Washington at the Iowa 39. Play action and back to the air. 
The throw to Scancy is incomplete. He was covered. And is at the Iowa 11. Or the sidelines. Not a very good kick. In fact, they're going to mark it at the 23-yard line. Shotgun. And a shift back to a tee. We're going to see a lot of movement. They use more sets than any team in the Big Ten, maybe anyone in the country. Bohannon from Southern California flipping it out to Blacher. He's at the 30. And a first down. No, short of the first down. It's Gordy Bohannon at quarterback. Phil Blacher from New Orleans, the leading rusher for the Hawkeyes and the fullback Norm Granger. The receivers, Jeff Brown, with 20 catches, led the Hawks this year. Ivory Webb, he's from Long Beach, California, is the wingback. And the tight end, 6'7", John Olds. Second down and a long one. Good interior defense by the Huskies. At center is Bill Bailey. The guards for Iowa, Joe Lavellis, and big Ron Hallstrom. He's 286 pounds. He's pushing Dave, 300. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Bayhan and Paul Postler are the tackles. He moves Granger up on a wing left. Now back into the backfield. It's one of those unbalanced lines, and it's Blacher with a first down to the 35-yard line. Twice in a row. Bohannon starts in the shotgun and shifts into the I formation. First down from the 35. Swings it to Blacher. Good receiver, but well read by the Husky defense, and they drop him for a yard loss. There they are. Stewart, Jenkins, Garnett, Driscoll, and Giroux. 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 <laughs> and linebackers. Converted nose tackle. They're the defensive back. Second down and 11 out of the shotgun. Bohannon to Alt, the tight end, and he's to the 41-yard line. And We have a microphone on our referee today, but and they totally defeated the University of Southern California 26 to 10. So I'm now wondering if that's John Robinson's last game at USC. Whoa. Nothing there for Phil Blacher as he tries the center of the line. T. Roby, the leading punter in the nation, gets it away. And he drills one. Will it come down? Yes, to Horton at the 23. 30, 40, 50. One man to beat Roby. 35. He's all the way to the 29-yard line. Both wide receivers to the right of quarterback Kalur. They picked up the blitz. Kalur is smothered at the 33, a loss of four. Team coming out to make the first hit on him. Second down, 14. Valor, good protection. Overshoots his mark, and it was almost intercepted. And Iowa looking for the pass, third and long. Screen. Oh. Incomplete. Intended for Vince Kobe. He's kicked 51 yards a couple of times this year. Valor to hold. High enough? Is it long enough? No. And it's a little bit to the left. You bet. The weatherman has cooperated perfectly. Bohannon, a little fake reverse. Now looking for the bomb. It's not there. Running room at the 40 and tackled at the 44. You can see why now. It has to be a tough assignment for defense to adjust to all those various sets. Blacher to midfield. A good gain on first down of about five. Second down and five. Bohannon, option, and he throws that one away. They're almost out of time, third and five at the 50. Now the shotgun. Complete to Brown, but no game. Read well by that Husky defense. Kicks it to the goal line, it's 50 yards. I think it is short for Roby. Oh, and he pooches it. And it takes a good Iowa bounce to about the 19-yard line. At that time, the forecast was 80% chance of rain, but it is clear, thank goodness. Ooh. Ron Jackson may have to clear some cobwebs after that hit. Quick, strong, they'll get after you. Call it a gain of a little over a yard. Call it second and a long eight. Swing it to Jackson, incomplete, and Pallor. But they all go through the headset of the head man. If he wants to change him, he does. Pallor to throw again. As a man, and it's Beautiful. complete to Allen at the 40-yard line. First down. It's by the quarterback. 
First down, shy of the 40. And Jackson finding again that uh, it's tough to. Second down, eight. Almost intercepted. Third down, eight. Good protection down the middle to Allen. And it is not intercepted. He caught it out of bounds. Out of bounds. Partridge to kick. And he gets sure. off a short one. It might have been partially blocked. No, it was not blocked. And the flag goes down. Ball goes out of bounds at the 27. And we're going to have a roughing the kicker penalty on Lou King. Take a look at it yourselves. The ball cleanly off. King in too deep. Missed the block point. 15-yard penalty. First down at the 43. Ballor play action. And he completes it to his tight end, Roseboro, who steps out of bounds at the 36. They're doing what they have to do to move the ball. The give is to number 28, Jacques Robinson, into the ball game for the first time. Huskies at the Iowa 32. 12 passes and eight runs so far in the game, Dick. the middle this Iowa team allowed an average of only 87 yards per game rushing second and six good blocking oh just enough of a piece Williams uh, dropped a couple of key tries in last year's Rose Bowl so third and six in play action and Pelor in trouble occasion the sack took uh, Washington out of field goal range nothing much for Blacher a senior from New Orleans unbalanced left <laughs> Strobel in motion quick toss to Brown great block he's at the 30 he's to the 39 before Lee Park can knock him out of bounds oh, guys not been here for a while Forrest Evershevsky brought him here twice 57 and 59 both impressive victory Receivers covered. And he smothered in a sea. Of and it worked so well, but we've done it since that time with our big tight end. Now let's see. See the uh, tight end on the far side? You don't see that on many teams. And he says he still can get down and block. Here's Blacher tripped up from behind. 61. Ray Catted. Third. And long out of the shotgun, Bohannon. That's a draw. Quarterback draw. Fletcher missed him. Bohannon cartwheel down at the 46-yard line. Oh, he has thunder in that foot. Horton at his 8-yard line. 20, 25, 30. A marvelous run by Horton. 42-yard punt and a 27-yard return by Ray Horton. He's been the offensive star of this first quarter, and that's the end of the first 15 minutes. No score. We open the second quarter. Washington from its 35, and that is a long game for that Iowa defense, basically even. The two punt returns by Horton. The difference for Washington but they could not capitalize. Again up the middle to Robinson. To believe me, the Huskies can't afford to go to sleep out here today. Into the middle, a second effort lunge. Words and photos. We saw that address, Rose Bowl Program, Post Office Box 827, San Francisco. Pelour on first down. Open is Allen again. And he is to the Iowa 34-yard line. 21 yards on the play from the Iowa 34. Inside the 30. No score early in the second quarter. 12.45 remaining before halftime. And it's Robinson. The rest of those at tailback for Washington. Again, it's Robinson to the 10. He's to the 6-yard line. Picking the hole and tremendous power. Robinson again. And he's to the 5-yard line. Whoops, that's always a bad sign. Kobe having to ask his quarterback something and then saying something to Robinson. They're going to be running short of time. They give it off. Kobe to the two. Kobe is 
he in? No. He's short. They stacked him up, Dick. Listen to this crowd. Robinson, touchdown! Also to kick out of Bloor's hole. And the Huskies had the extra point. Ten minutes and nine seconds left in the first half of this 68th Rose Bowl game. And the underdog Washington Huskies have the first score, leading Iowa 7-0. If you are here today, uh, all of that criticism goes far away. And, uh, this spectacle lives on as the game. Norm Granger, who ran one back 99 yards for a touchdown. Now they're both in there, and Gale's in motion. They got two quarterbacks in there, and look at the pass. Deep pass. And it is caught at the 45-yard line. And he's out of the game, and Bohannon continues as the quarterback. Good hole for Eddie Phillips, but it closes in a hurry. He's right about that. Good hole. And it's Granger to the Washington 48-yard line. Tied in Hufford, shifting to the left side. Bohannon could have been a draw. He's got a first down at the 41. Webb to the left. Shot down to the first right. Down. That's There's a design run again. Yeah. Ooh. And he fumbles, and Washington recovers. Driscoll made the hit, and number 48 recovered the ball. For the Huskies recovering Bohannon's fumble at the Washington 46. This is Robinson, and he gets only about the grab of Dick Kendrick, Merlin Olson at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Washington leads 7-0. Freshman Jock Robinson has been the surprise. Flags are down. May have a holding call. Pallor carries it out, and it's intercepted by Frazier. He could go all the way, and Pallor makes a tackle at the 34-yard line. 7-0, the Huskies lead. Less than seven minutes left in the first half. That's Webb in motion. The fullback, Ranger, tripped up after five, and a flag goes down. Illegal motion, offense. Now first down and 15 for Iowa, trailing 7-0. They're at the Washington 38. Bohannon looking long. The Brown almost intercepted by Horton. Another of his many Rose Bowls here in Pasadena today, our director. Bohannon going long. And it's intercepted by number 23, Vince Newsom. A flag is down. We'll see against whom. It's at Newsom who had one interception this year. I don't think so. In tight, and a pretty good surge by that offensive line. That's about half of what Iowa normally allows an entire team for a game. Good haul for Robinson. Ooh, and he was one man away from Bray. Whoop, a little extracurricular activity. And the ratings have been sensational and continued success to Merlin Olsen Tuesday nights. Back to the action, and Washington has a first down. Is up. First down at the 22. Pallor to throw from his own end. Almost Ooh. intercepted. It goes back to Pallor, and he goes to the 15-yard line. That was a mistake. And this more than one yard on that play. Line of scrimmage was the 22, and that's about where they get this one back to. Third down 11 at the Washington 21. Little reverse, Allen, but nothing there at all. Five kicks, five kicks, all punts. and they're close to that one. Woo, a line driver too. That'll be a return ball. 31, 36 to the 44-yard line goes Brown. After Robinson had scored early in the second quarter, a one-yard run on fourth down. Bohannon, little screen out to Brown, then a lateral to Phillips. And he's out of bounds at the 47-yard line, and that'll bring tears to you, old-timers. Bohannon, not much yardage on his five completions, only 29 total yards, and he's been intercepted once and fumbled once. Going to run it again. 
and Giroud drags him down at the 41, but it's a first down from the Washington 42, trailing 7 0, two and a half minutes left. Bohannon stumbling and didn't have a chance to hit Ivory Webb in their name. Pete Gales is in. He's had one play, one pass, one completed pass. He hands off to Blacher to the 39. Washington waiting for that one. Third down between seven and eight. Gales over the middle and he misfires. He had a man open. Bohannon to throw. He swings it. Incomplete and the Huskies get the ball with 135 left. First down then for Washington on the exchange at the 40-yard line of the Huskies. And Pelour with a minute and a half left in this half. Throws to his tight end, Roseboro, out of bounds at the 43-yard line with 129 left in the half. Scancy in motion. Good blocking for Pelour down the middle. Open to Scancy and what a catch! After the first down, now it's running. Pelour. Oh, he had a man wide open, Aaron Williams. Oh. Just a junior, a little move to the line, apparently, because Andre Tippett. Legal procedure, oh, no, it goes the other way against Iowa. All right, it's second down and five for Washington at the 34. Pelour, they really protected him well. And he hits Gancy to the 19-yard line. First down, Washington. Moved into position from the 19. Leading 7-0. Oh, 74 Picard almost had himself a present. The Pelour doing a fine job on this drive. Very impressive in his performance so far today. This drive following the gamble at the Washington 40 by Iowa. Pelour going for six to Scancy. Oh, that's going to be penalties. Flag. So it's in the end zone on the one yard line. First down. First. They're going to be challenged with four shots for Washington from the one. Nope. Didn't get in. Car and Webb went on that stop kick. Oh, over the top. But Pelor had the ball and he didn't get in. In third and goal. Washington has only one more timeout left. Touchdown! Kobe on the trap. Vince Kobe scored only one touchdown all year. And what a big one today. How did that touchdown? Block the lower. Now he'll try to pass, and he's got a man. Oh. And what a play defensively by number 92. And add a touchdown, not the extra point. Nelson hits it high, and Granger won't have a chance to return that one. Both wide receivers are to the right. Webb in the slot with Brown, the leading receiver, far right. And again, it's apparently the draw. That's and second and six with just seconds left. Blacher to the 29. The fumble after the ball carrier was down. Mark Giroux made another tackle. Three, two, and that'll be it. The first half of this 68th renewal of the granddaddy is over. And the Washington Huskies a mild underdog coming into this game. Leave the field with a 13-point lead. <laughs> Crowd has lost none of its enthusiasm. Good long kick by Nelson. Granger, no chance to return. for 16 yards. When it works, has to give the whole team a lift. It helps. Fast start. They're getting it here. And another good gain on first down as Granger plowing. Second down and four. Granger again. And he's got a first down at the 48-yard line. They've come a long ways to support their team. They're proud to see him moving the ball down the field. From the 48-yard line, this is Blacher to the Washington 49 and Mark Giroux. They played three minutes. Iowa's had the ball since the kickoff to start the half. Run, run, run. 
Again, a little misdirection, but Granger has toppled the Iowa Hawkeyes. His team third and seven at the 49 will operate out of the shotgun. Bohannon in trouble. It's short. complete, but short of the first down. And his first kick. Oh, he just was tall enough to get that one. And he's forced to try the, and they have the first down. Well, they're going to have a penalty, though. They had linemen downfield, Dick. The eligible receiver downfield, offense, fourth down. It's fourth. And 47 yards. And he lines this one. Returnable to Horton at the 10. He had two outstanding returns in the first half. He's at the 17-yard line, and a flag goes down. Fine linebacker down the field. And it was Jim uh, Rogers, 39, who made the clip, and he was the man who was injured. So from deep in their own end of the field, 13-0 Huskies, 11 minutes left, third quarter. Ooh, boy, there's some solid hitting. Ron Jackson. Third and eight. Valore from his goal line. Going long. For Scancy and too long, all the way to the 45. They're Brown is deep. Ooh. End over end and fairly short. Brown at the 46. And returns at a couple of yards to the 43s. Well, with 10 minutes left, third quarter has the ball at the Washington 43. Nothing there. Put a few thumps on that guy. Second down, two tight ends. Old and Hufford bookend the line. A little mixed direction to Granger. Good speed. 40, 35. Finally out of bounds at the 30 and a first down. Went to the same high school as Andre Tip at Beringer High in Newark, New Jersey. First down. Intercepted by Driscoll at the 32-yard line. Ken Driscoll. From the 32-yard line, Washington's ball leading 13-0. And they get very little on first down. As well, you can understand how the Washington fans feel they're going to go for the national championship next year. Pallor, plenty of time. There's his man, Scancy, and a first down at the Iowa 42. As you saw, Scancy's fourth catch and a first down at the Iowa 42. 13-0 Washington. Little draw play out to the 40-yard line to Ron Jackson. Second and eight. Again, well pro protected. Pallor dumps it off to Jackson for short yard. It's just a couple. Right out of the hot bed of football in Massillon, Ohio. On third and six, Pallor. Complete to Allen. Tackled at the 31-yard line. Rose Bowl one off the Rose Bowl record. First down play to Scancy. Oops, that might be it. Nope, they say it was a good hit. <laughs> Willie Roseboro, the tight end, out of bounds. The coaching style. Illegal use of hands, blocking above the shoulders. Offense, first. He does turn the defense over to his assistant, Bill Brazier. Second down and a long way to go for Washington now from the 48 of Iowa. Screen. Rudd. Mel Cole, 31, with a great read. And third down and 36, we guess. Glad, you're glad the coach is signaling in the plays here, I'll tell you that. There's a draw play to Ron Jackson. He gets some of it back to the Iowa 46-yard line, and Cole again makes the tackle. Pulled out this year at Kinnick Stadium, and they say they'll be sold out again every game next year. Gonna let that one go, Brown. Could be trouble. No, it trickles into the end zone. Touchback for Iowa. Jordy Bohannon, the quarterback. Iowa down 13-0. Ranger breaks a couple of tackles and picks up five. And the give goes to Blacher. Ken Driscoll makes the tackle. Four minutes and nine seconds left in the third quarter. Shadow starting to grow here at the Rose Bowl. There's a first down and more. Granger all the way to the 45. This time it's Blacher, and he's hit in the backfield by Mark Stewart. He just stands out in that middle. Again, misdirection, and it's Granger again. And he's 
close to a first down at the Washington 46. Blacher. He has the first down at the 43. Of Get three losing programs. Turned them around. I'll tell you, the folks in Iowa, Texas, we're pleased to have a coach like Aiden Fry. SMU and North Texas State. But consider that record in that light. It's outstanding. It is indeed. Again, misdirection. And Granger runs into Cadage 61 and others. It's Washington 13, the Hawkeyes nothing. Sure. And they did not get the first down as fullback Granger, but apparently they're going to go, go ahead. Fourth and one, Blacher. Short. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, he did not make it. He did not make it. And the end of the third quarter. We'll be back after these messages from your local station. Huskies have just held the Hawkeyes at the Washington 35 on fourth down. We open the fourth quarter. Dick Kendrick with Merlin Olson. Steve Pallor completes it to his halfback. And out of bounds goes Breno DeFeo. Sets his line with a first down at the 46. And DeFeo gets the call to midfield. Down 13 to nothing. And Washington with the ball. It's Jacques Robinson close to the Iowa 45. Whoa. Tip it. Can't bring him down. Whoa. But has help. Pat Dean finally makes the tackle. Oh, eight men on the line of scrimmage. Good kick. His best of the day. Brown all the way to the eight. And returns to the 15-yard line. And first they're standing by Clemson in Nebraska. What a game that should be for the national championship. Bohannon incomplete. Bohannon's had more success running the ball than throwing it today. Going for the bomb. That was number 89, Charlie Jones. <laughs> the big football bang. So stay with us right after the conclusion of this game. Third down, Bohannon, a fake reverse. Can't find a man open. 20. And he didn't get the first down. Tackled at the 23. We'll see if Roby indeed is going to kick or whether they fake it. Fourth and one. Now Roby with that powerful leg. Gets another long one to Horton at the 25. And down he goes at the 31. Good coverage by the Hawkeye. Just outside their own 30. Scancy in motion. Little option toss to Jacques Robinson. Boy, does he have acceleration. What a great first step. It was 15 yards, and it's a first down at the 46. Robinson again, a little misdirection. Turnabout's fair play, and he's all the way to the 37-yard line. Let's go, D. Washington with a 13-0 lead. It's Colby to the 35-yard line, but always is a winner. Pelour. Second and seven. Almost intercepted. Intended for Allen. Jock Robinson. He's at the 20. Might go all the way. He has a touchdown. Washington Huskies have found themselves a new star. They had to get different personnel onto the field. Going for the two. Allen in motion. And they took too much time. From his perspective. Delay a game. Offense. So the two-point conversion from the eight-yard line. Ballor, he's got his man, Scancy. Two points. Andre Tippett beside himself. And now a quick throw from Pelour as he threads the needle right down the middle. And with timeout, 9.47 left. Iowa needs a lot of help. Ranger and Bucks are deep. 
to Granger side at the two. And a little hold, but a good tackle made. David White Knight is the injured player. Bohannon caught from behind and fumbles. And the Huskies say they have it again. They do. We're at the 19 of Iowa. New quarterback Tim Cowan. He's a junior from Cerritos, California. And he gives to Jacques Robinson. Meandered up to Seattle. And are they happy? This is Chris James, the fullback, 30 years almost ago. Robinson, you can hear the pads pop, and Robinson is to the four-yard line. And the star of the Rose Bowl. Robinson again. What did we say at the start of the show? Two Cinderella stories. 142 yards on the day. 140 yards by Robinson. Oh, Cowan keeps it himself for a touchdown. And that one has to taste sweet for Tim Cowan, who injured his right thumb in the second game of the year against Kansas State, lost his job to Steve Pallor. You know, again, too, Merlin, with it goes 28 nothing. We're all guilty of trying to judge teams that don't play by scores against common opponents. Boy, you really would have been off course on this one. We'll tell you about it in a moment. Kick comes down to Granger at the seven. And he is to the 29-yard line. The fact that James was so happy to see this day clear and dry because he knew he was going to have to throw the football. Pete Gales is the quarterback now for Iowa. Oh, he's got a rifle, and he gets it to Brown complete and out of bounds. And they're still standing with a band, waving their pom-poms. They've had a great time out here in Pasadena. You know they're going to be there in force again next year. Gales hits Brown again, and his progress will be allowed about the 46-yard line. And they seem to be uh, reasonable risks at the time. It just was a Washington defense that stopped the play. Gales on a screen. Phillips, Eddie Phillips is the man in there now for Blacher. Clemson number one, Nebraska number four. Phillips. And he's out of bounds at the 33. Fields. Pump and go, and he has a man open, or does he? No, it's intercepted in the end zone. Number three, Derek Harvey, another of the many juniors on defense. Receivers in the same picture at the same time. They drew the two defenders right to the ball. Didn't have a chance. Now Washington will try to chew up as much time. Sterling Hines, he was a Canadian high school sprint champion. Than the scores might indicate. That is not Vince Albritton, but Albritton does wear number six, but he wears it on defense. That's number six, Stephen Derrick. Yeah. Both coaches now putting young players into the game to give them a chance to say they played in this classic. Number 22, Hines. And him. Special part of our telecast. Oh. Partridge. It's a good one to Jeff Brown at the 27. Oh, my. Hit immediately. Miami and all those good Orange Bowl people all week long, and they've got a classic game. Come on, come on. Iowa with the ball trying to snap this shutout bid. You're a fan or an announcer, certainly as a player. Grogan not related to Steve Grogan. Hit down at the 31-yard line. The Hawks have had a great season. Fans. They're on the line. They're not laying back and sitting down with their heads down. 105 left. Grogan goes down. And our thanks to whoever it was that arranged the work. Absolutely, Father. Chuck Long now getting a chance to carry the ball. It's just seconds away. As for the first time in nearly 30 years, apparently, we're going to see a shutout here in Pasadena. 
Nine, eight seconds, seven, six. The University of Washington and Coach Don James have won the 1982 game 28 to nothing. Don James, 49 years old yesterday. It's a day late, but he'll accept a marvelous present from a great young team that can only have a brighter future. We'll be right back.